Space communications is a tricky business. The Space Communications and Navigation Testbed, or SCAN Testbed, combines software-defined radios that can be reconfigured with new software. David Robison from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory tells us more. Tell us about the GPS experiment on the SCAN Testbed. Um, well, to start off with, uh, just to um, give you an idea of what the SCAN Testbed is and what it's doing, um, Take, for instance, your cell phone. Your cell phone is an amazing device. It automatically connects to um, whatever cell tower is nearby. If there's Wi-Fi, you can connect to Wi-Fi, connect to the Internet that way. There's also a GPS in your cell phone that tells you where you are. Um, it's this amazing combination of features that, that for the most part, um, all operates automatically. And the scan testbed um, is a platform that is allowing us to develop similar technologies for space. For space, it, communication is a little bit more complicated due to the distances and velocities involved, and so, um, but we're developing um, next generation technologies for communication, things like a cognitive radio that would automatically connect um, to whatever other um, spacecraft or uh, communication links are available and um, set up networks and forward data. Um, so GPS is actually um, a very interesting part of that. Um, uh, having GPS co-located with the radio would allow you to automatically, based on position, um, set up a radio link point and antenna um, in order to um, connect with a high gain antenna to um, some relay satellite or a ground station. Um, so for what I'm doing with GPS, um, basically we are uh, developing software for the scan testbed that will turn it into a GPS receiver. It's this um, software-defined uh, paradigm um, where instead of having a dedicated electronics box that just does one purpose, it's a general purpose uh, system um, that then you can, by writing the appropriate software, um, enable different features. Um, and so we're, we're demonstrating this concept with GPS on the scan testbed. Specifically for the scan testbed, deploying this uh, GPS uh, software is kind of demonstrating better accuracy uh, for the space station. Currently, our knowledge of where the space station is is uh, on the order of a few meters, um, but using um, some of the latest GPS technology, we should be able to um, improve that to about 10 centimeters or so. Um, so um, that's part of what this demonstration is. It's both a software-defined approach for GPS in space, but also improving our knowledge of where the ISS is at any given time. And, and that's kind of a pathfinder for a, a new set of experiments that we could do on the space station. And this is all for future space missions too, right? It's going to help Right, so this is, this is a, a GPS receiver design that could be applied um, to future space missions. One of the things, the unique benefits of the SCAN testbed is it's, it's a, a basically a general purpose platform, and so you could p potentially um, make future NASA, mis NASA missions more efficient by having uh, one platform that, that handles both communication, networking, and um, location, uh, and ranging, and GPS receiver applications um, all on one platform similar to a cell phone, a cell phone for space, basically. But the secondary applications are that using GPS in space uh, uh, enable us to make more precise measurements of Earth, um, things that will benefit us and uh, become very crucial for um, understanding our climate and how that may be changing. What's it like for you to be a principal investigator for an experiment on the space station? I kind of have to pinch myself sometimes, you know, because one aspect of it is that, okay, this is just uh, my work. I'm, you know, going to work and, and this is what I'm working on. But on the other hand, it's the space station. This is, this is such a cool opportunity um, to be part of exploring space and developing technology in space.